This was it. Many of the Imperial Japanese Army territory had fallen to the Americans. This included the Solomon Isles, Guam and the recent Iwo Jima. But there was one strategic point left that they had to capture before they could invade Japan. And this island was called Okinawa. Okinawa was a massive strategic point for the Imperial Japanese Army. If they had lost this, they'd lose Tokyo. So, the Americans didn't waste time, and before dawn on the April 1st of 1945, destroyers started beginning an artillery barrage of nearly 100,000 shells on the coast. Now, the Americans had learned from the previous year that there would be resistance upon the beaches, just like at Normandy. And when they started to land, they noticed something really strange. There was no resistance. They managed to capture the central part of the island with no shot fired. Now, Okinawa lay home to the 62nd Army of the Imperial Japanese Army. Now, they were told by their commander not to attack the Americans. Just lay in wait and watch them. Now, of course, the Americans liked to advance, so they advanced to the north of the island, where there was a bit of resistance, but not much. And by April 13th, they had taken the whole north of the island, even the most northern point. That was just the southern part of the island to take now. And between the American and Japanese lines, there was massive resistance. But the Americans managed to push through and trap the Imperial Japanese Army into three enclaves. Obviously they took the right and left flank and just left the most southern tip of the island. Which they then eventually did take. Now, one of the soldiers at Okinawa is a hero in many eyes. Many people know who I'm talking about, many don't, but if you haven't seen Hacksaw Ridge, you will know. This man was Desmond Doss. Now, Okinawa was in his first battle. He did receive two bronze stars in two other Pacific battles, but Okinawa was where he shined. He managed to save 75 American soldiers. Now, that may not seem a lot, if you look at the casualty figures, which I will explain in a bit, but those 75 soldiers made him a hero. He saved 75 lives, 75 men who could go home to their families. So, I did mention casualty figures. Now, the Americans lost about 14,000 to 20,000 dead and 55,000 wounded at Okinawa. Obviously, they lost a multitude of tanks, planes, and some artillery guns. But the Japanese lost it. They were hit hard by this. They had lost 70 to 110,000 men. They had lost everything, including their last Yamato battleship. The Imperial Japanese Army knew that they were going to lose. But there is one event that will change the history in the Pacific forever and I will talk about that on Sunday.